Hello students, welcome to Shore of Sir's classes. Today we are going to deal with a new chapter known as Ring and Field. We are going to discuss first what the individual terms and their properties are. This chapter is really important in the field of mathematics. At first, let us start with the term ring. A ring is any non empty set. We already know what a set is. And if any set consists any kind of elements, it will be known as a non-empty set. So, if it denote R is a non-empty set such that it has two binary compositions, which is addition and subtract and multiplication. We denote the addition by a plus sign and the multiplication by a dot. And if the following is satisfied, that is, if there are two elements A and B, then for A plus B will belong to R, for any elements A, B belonging to R. The number 2 goes as the distributive law. For any A, B, C belonging to R. Please note this down. And number 3 is such that there is an element denoted by 0. Such that if A plus 0 equal to A. For all A belonging to R. Number 4 is that for each element A in R. There exists an element minus A in R such that. A minus A equal to 0. Number fifth is that A plus B equal to B plus A. That is, the addition is commutative for any elements A, B belonging to R. The sixth shows us similar that A that R is closed under multiplication. That is, A multiplied to B will belong to, belong to R where A and B already belongs to R. Number 7 is that we are again doing the distributive law here. This will give us for any elements or at 3 elements belonging to R. And number 8 will give us A plus C. We are just expanding this. And similarly, we are going to get for any ele three elements A, B, C belonging to R. Hence, we are going to say that R, which has two binary, the ring R and has two binary components, addition and multiplication is said to be a commutative ring. This will be a commutative ring provided that the multiplication is commutative here. It is to be noted there will be a term known as divisor of 0 in R. Now what is this term? In a ring R, a non-zero element A is said to be a divisor of 0 if there exists a non-zero element B in R such that A dot B equal to 0 or a non-zero element C in R such that C dot A equal to 0. In the first case, A is said to be a, a, is said to be a right divisor of 0. And now we will also come across a term known as characteristic of R. Now what is this? The characteristic of a ring R is the least positive integer n if, is, if n exists such that n a will be 0 for all a belonging to R where n a can be a plus a plus a which will go n times the additions. 
if no such positive integer exists r is said to be of characteristic 0 next we are going to come across a term known as integral domain these are the terms we will come across doing the sum and also in later chapters Now what is an integral domain? It is said that a non-trivial ring R with unity is said to be an integral domain if it is commutative and consists, contains no divisor of zero. There are certain properties of this integral domain. It is let as considered D to be an integral domain. Then D star which will be the set of all non-zero elements of D will form a commutative semi-group with respect to multiplication and again if a commutative ring r with unity is said to be integral domain if and only for a non-zero element a in r suppose let me write it here a equal to a dot u equal to a dot v equal to 7 u equal to v where u v belongs to r Next, we are going to come across this term known as the skew field. What is a skew field? A non-trivial ring R with unity is said to be a skew field or a division ring if every non-zero element of R is a unit. It should be reminded that or it should, you should remember that a skew field contains no divisor or zero. That is contains no divisor of zero moving on we are going to deal with the important term field now what is a field field is known as a commutative skew field where a non-empty set f forms a field with respect to two binary compositions plus and multiplication if and only if there are certain compositions or rather properties that should be maintained that is a plus b belongs to f for any two elements a b belonging to f that is if f is a field the elements containing in f should be closed under addition the properties of field is somewhat similar to the properties of ring you can compare and remember I'm writing it here please note it down and there number three will be that there exists an element called the zero element which is denoted by zero in f such that a plus zero equal to a for all a belonging to f number four is that there should be also an element minus a such that a minus equal to zero again for all elements belonging to f Number 5 will be that addition is commutative a plus b equal to b plus a for any two elements a b for any two elements a b belonging to the field f. The sixth property states that the elements of f must also be closed under multiplication that is a dot b will belong to f for every element a b belonging to f now comes the seventh property the seventh property states that this is similar to ring just the multiplication that giving a bracket or rather grouping doesn't affect eight property states that there is an element called the identity element there was, this was not there in the ring there exists an element called the identity element which is denoted by 1 and f such that a dot 1 equal to a for all a belonging to f 
Now the ninth property states that there will be an element which is known as the multiplicative inverse in field. So we, are, we denote it by A inverse which will give us 1. The product will give us 1 for all elements belonging to F. The last property goes as last but not the least that is multiplication should be commutative and the last one. This is similar to ring again for any three elements belonging to F. And naturally the field is denoted by we give a brace and F it has two binary components addition and multiplication. This is how we denote a field. Next we are going to come across another term known as subring. From the term itself it is clear that subring should be a part of the ring. Let us see what the definition says. A subring should be a non-empty subset S of R such that S forms a ring under the composition addition and multiplication which is restricted to S. Again we are going to deal with another term known as subfield. Again from this term it is it can be seen that subfield will be a non-empty set or subset of F which is closed under the field or rather it forms a field under the given conditions. With this we come to the end of this video.